Video Games of Air, and welcome back. So, before we get into game two, I just got some announcements to make. We released Brian Winters, uh, trying to go younger there. We traded uh, Josh Martin to the Lions, and uh, just wanted to go in a new scheme set. Move Terrence Brooks to the free safety, as we move J.J. Wilcox to middle linebacker, as he fits more of that role as a hit, hard-hitting linebacker. Now, if I can get them to actually do play more, we'll see. Um, we brought in Melafon uh, Wu, Melafonwa, who, whatever his name is, as a backup strong safety now. Uh, we brought in Say Tatui, Tatu, Terrell Adams as the lineman. Released Josh McCown, and we traded Lorenzo Malding for Jacoby Brissett. Now, with Brissett's going to be the backup. Uh, we also uh, moved or released Sterling, uh, Nate Sterling for Logan Thomas, the former quarterback who is now playing tight end. So we'll see how that goes as we get underway in the second game against division rival Miami Dolphins. Now they have some um, promising players, but I think their Achilles heel really is Ryan Tannehill. Like he's not terrible in the game, but in real life, I just don't see him helping them win a Super Bowl or getting close to it. That's my personal opinion. Don't take that to heart. But um, getting in this game, I'm still tweaking the sliders. You know, not getting as much pressure on the computer's quarterback. Um, my rush attack is getting bad, so I've upped the rush blocking, uh, the run blocking, and decreased pass protection for the computer. So we'll see how that goes. And I believe third or fourth game. I've only played three of them so far, but we'll get into this. Now we have our main guy, Bilal Powell. As you can see, seven carries, 33 yards, but a touchdown in week one. So uh, coming in here. It's, this is going to be a tough one as we get going. 1-0 um, in the column right now as we get this game headed over. And uh, now, as we go, Edwards ready to kick us off. Week 2 underway as games at the bottom of your stream are also going on. Back to return is Jamar, uh, Jamari Grant, I believe. I don't remember. I know his... I don't know. But here we go with Ryan... Tannehill coming out in today's game. As you can see, his stats coming in. He did not throw a single touchdown. Only one interception, 203 yards, 19 for 32. So, you know, a decent one, or a decent game, except for the interception. Uh, we'll ho hopefully hold him to about the same in today's game, if not less. First down to 10, the first play. Hand off to Kenyon Drake, and that will end... <laughs> We'll get him hurt. He's holding his shoulder there. And uh, I'm going to say his name again a lot this year. Avery Williamson. I'm going to be disappointed if he doesn't finish in the top 10 of tackles in the league. But more importantly, doesn't finish being an outstanding Pro Bowl selection this year. As they find Mike Kaseki, the rookie from Pittsburgh, as a gain of about 9 there. As Kevin Minter was on the tackle. Third and 2 shotgun back to pass. Quick throw and the duel wide open on the slot and a first down. Busted Scrying up a tackle. A big game there. Next play. Bunch uh, bunch trio to the left. Hand off to Frank Gorney's met in the backfield. Nowhere to go. David Bass. Loss of three with that tackle there. Ten minutes to go in the first quarter. I did move, I told you I moved I moved the minutes to twelve. And it plays about the same, so it's not too big of a change. Well, and that's good there. And I'll have the nice run there by Frank Gore. Crusher, and he's going to be sacked. Loses the football. Darren Lee, recovered by Gore, and Darren Lee will help out the tackle again. Just past the lineman and gets the big sack, strip sack there on Tannehill. So he sees Darnold, 15 for 25, 224. No touchdowns and no picks in his opening debut. I would like to see... The incompletions narrowed down in today's game. As we get our first drive going at the 20-yard line handoff, there's Isaiah Crowell, and he'll bounce off his own guys for a gain of about two. Nothing going really there. Um, seems like my video quality or my volume isn't that great. Now we'll try to go back to Crowell. He'll power through for a gain of three. The former Brown not doing too much. I don't know... I mean, again, I haven't really seen, I haven't handed it all off at all to Thomas Rawls or Eugene McGuire. It's been straight up Powell and Crowell 
So once I get this auto subs figured out, it'll be a lot better. I might have to just move them all the way up so that way people actually play in the game. And we'll see because I've only played with like three re receivers the whole time. As Jermaine Kirsch is in motion, that's one of them, one of our big guys. Back to pass, we'll throw it to him with a nice grab there and a gain of first of 10 for another chain move. Now in the shotgun again, we'll try to give it to Crowell or to Crowell again. And he's met really half a yard. I mean, I rush attack before I change the sliders. I mean, this is just pathetic. As what a move to get in the backfield. Gotcha just destroys Ian Cooper here, pushing him back. And Spencer Long, as you saw, did nothing on the play. And a great sack right there by Godshaw. Next play action pass. Third and 13. Wide open is Quincy Anunla. First down and more into opponent territory to the 46. Nice play there. Back to pass. Little flake. And then there's Crowell with his best run now so far. Near another first down. Nine yard pickup. Powell now in the backfield. Single back. And they'll give it back to Powell. But the defense is there. Nowhere to go. A loss of one. Or a loss of nothing, I guess. Third down and one. Leggett in motion. Back to hand it off to Crowell. Just enough for the first down. As he's brought down short. Ability, or shot down by Akeem Spence. Next play. And he's going to be wrapped up immediately. That was William Hayes on the sack. Six-yard loss there. Next play. Back to pass. Darnold looking. Pressure. No one open. Throws it into a tight window. And it broken up by Kiko Alonso. Kirsch just could not hang on to that one there. Next play, twin to the twin tight ends to the right. Back to pass. Pressure immediately. Tries to throw. Hit and incomplete as he just gets that away. And now they get the ball back. Josh Sitton, the former Bear lineman, is there at the left guard position. Kenyon Drake, Mike Kozeski. And they have, are now without Javaris Landry, who went to Cleveland in that big trade. That was a big one as a nice run up the middle by Frank Gore and tackled by, I believe, Deion Simon right there. Next play, third and six. Kenny Steele is wide open as David Bass smacks him down. That's a 32. First quarter's over, 0-0 zero, zero game. Ken Hill under center, back to pass. Blitz coming. Lee getting there, just misses. Finds Frank Gore, but he's not going to stop. He's going to continue. Lose, not, or not fully bring him down as Frank Gore just powered through three defenders there. Near first down, now second and two. Back to Gore, and he's met immediately by there's Jamal Adams and Steve McLendon on the tackle. No gain. Now third and three, they'll hand it back to Gore. He does get the first down, stays on his feet, but he picked the wrong lane to really go for that one, but it doesn't matter. The first down. Now second and ten. Back, another right handoff to Frank Gore. He's going to be met again, this time just Steve McLendon by himself. He's looking for a contract extension. It all depends on how he plays this season if I offer him one. Now Tannehill back to pass. Looking all day to throw, but coverage is there. Incomplete and a three and out. Now we'll get in motion again. All three tight ends in the game to, on this play. Hand off Powell. Looking for some room. Gets a few. Again, a five. Second down. Back to pass. Quick drop back. Throws. Man wide open. It's Jordan Leggett. Back troops into a tackle as he's brought down at the 35 on a first down play. 3 for 5, 42. Not so bad so far. But they and 21 yards on the ground, I think, our best so far today. Now blitz, pressure, and almost sacked. Dangerous pass. Could have been picked off. Good job by the right deep or the left defensive side. Later on, third and 12. Pressure, throws, first, first down, and more breaking, powering through to the 48 yard line. And a big first down, as he's been one of our best targets, especially on third down. Next play, Crowell gets leveled by Robert Quinn. For, don't forget, Robert Quinn got traded to the Miami Dolphins last year. Next play, Tomlinson drops it as he gets splashed in the back by Robert Quinn. Second play for him, third and 11. Back to pass, Darnold looking, throws, and a bad pass looking for Quincy Nua, who was open, coming across the middle. So we'll punt it back to the Dolphins. Now first down, play action pass, and he's going to be met immediately. David Bass starting out. Third time I've called his name today. He started out the first half with a good note. Five minutes to go in the first half. Back at the five. Pressure, throws quick. Parker, he'll back up and get tackled by Kevin Minter. No gain on the play. Nice defense. Third and 19. Shotgun formation, and... A big stop here would be grateful. 
Back to pass all day. Finally pressure, but he finds Mike Kaseki. Somehow stays in bounds and will be credited with just enough for the first down. Later on, back to pass. Tanhill again. Pressure throws. Kaseki again behind him. Minter had a chance to at least swat it, but it's still caught by Kaseki. Good start in the second game as a football player. Now Frank Gore will bounce off Darren Lee and fight hard for those three yards and add that to the highlight fill of Avery and Williamson. You'll see him tackle everybody in this season, in this series. Now Tannehill off to the races, try to juke away and make a move on uh, Buster's screen or Scrine, whatever his name is, not going to happen. Now a third and two shotgun again. They run a lot of shotgun, it seems. They're going to go with a run, but Kevin Mentor's there. And then Henry Anderson will dogpile on him and tackle him. Fourth and, uh, and fourth down, we'll get the ball back. Back to throw, we have Robbie Anderson, and he just doesn't... I mean, he's a, one of the fastest guys we have on the roster as a receiver, but with the threshold being about equal, there's not going to be too much he's going to make there now. First down to 10 again, back to pass. Tomlinson will catch this one, a gain of 9. As you can see, 50% completion rating already in the first half. That is not what I want to see from our quarterback here. Change the play, second and two, back to pass. Quick drop back, no one open, great protection. Will try to run it, dives. And I don't know what the slide button is, but I so far has not found it. Later on, after another first down conversion, throws deep. Triple coverage almost, and it should have been picked off. Good coverage by the secondary. Ouch. Second down and 10. Back to pass. Throws quick. He's got Quincy Newman, and he's going to be tackled just short of the first down as it will be third down and one. Throw out on the backfield. Bunch set to the right. Back to pass. Throws quick. And there's Quincy Newman. Great block by Anderson. And Anderson, a little bit of a hesitation. Hits into Newman, but a nice tackle will stop a touchdown there. Crowell in motion, stopping Darnold's first touchdown, but not here. Back to pass, throws wide open, Jermaine Kirsch, and that's the first one for Sam Darnold, and hopefully a long, luxuri luxur fuck, luxurious career with the Jets. Now, as to end the half, Tannehill hands it off. Frank Gore somehow escapes Mentor, but won't escape Deion Simon. Now, I like this new halftime report. Takes it to where it's at on the map. That is beautiful like I'm liking. As you can see, the Buffalo Bills ahead the Chargers 10-7. As the rookie Josh Allen is doing decent. 10 for 12, 110 and touchdown. But over on down south, Carolina, Atlanta. It's all Falcons right now in the first half. 10-0 as Newton's just struggling. And their whole team just looks terrible right now. Then over in Washington, D.C., the Redskins up 14 to 10. I think it's Washington. Oh, God, I'm going to sound stupid if I don't know that. But uh, Alex Smith throwing for two touchdowns, but not really electrifying the team in that game. Now we'll get the second half going here. Second and 11 back to pass. Darnold throws quick. There is Jordan Leggett, and will try to hurdle. Won't work, but he'll gain nine. 10 for 17, 131, and a touchdown for Darnold in today's game. Next play, handoff to Powell, and he's met again. Big play in the backfield. I believe that was either Jordan Phillips or Akeem Spence on the tackle. They'll punt, we'll punt it back, and they'll do another in the next drive. Play action pass. Wide open man. the defense. Demi Amendola will juke into Jermaine Johnson, but over the field, over midfield to the 49 and a big first down. Next play, play action again. Blitz coming, throws, and there's Kaseki, and he is going to go untouched as we had Jordan Jenkins on him, and that was a big mismatch there. Easy touchdown. We're tied at seven. Next drive for the Jets. Play action pass and immediately pressured and sacked. Mika Fitzpatrick, the rookie from Alabama, gets the easy sack. Seven yard loss. Darnold back. Pressure from Cameron Rake and he's going down. As we had Tomlinson try to block Cameron Rake, that's a big mismatch and a failure on our part. Third down, but when you go to your boy Jermaine Kirsch on third downs, automatic. First down and more. Later on, second and ten, back to pass. Pressure from Cameron Wick again, and a nice throw and catch. Guess who? Jermaine Kirsch. He'll probably be the highlight best player on the offense this year. Powell try to spin into three defenders and get nowhere to go. Loss of one, second and 11. Empty backfield for Donald. Back to pass, looking. 
tries to escape, runs for it, and he'll dive. We'll get the first down, but he needs to start sliding to protect himself. Although we have some decent backup behind him, we aren't really looking for it. Now here's Crowell, and he gets blasted. Fumbles the ball. Fitzpatrick immediately recovers it. Rashad Jones would blast Crowell. And a nice job recovering the fumble immediately. Now Tannehill back to pass. Finds Gusecki wide open. Breaks a few tackles and gets near midfield. Now we weren't as lucky with the fumble recoveries as last week when we covered two of our own as we lose this one this week. Now second and eight at the 49 of New York. Play action pass. Tannehill will escape. Somehow lose Jordan Dickens. Makes a man miss. That's Jermaine Johnson. Spins away another man. Breaks away Jermaine Johnson again. Where the heck was this? Tannehill acting like Russell Wilson and Teddy Bridgewater pre-injury area or uh, era. Now they hand it off to Kenyon Drake, who's back, but Avery Williamson will not let that happen. A gain of one. Second and one. Or second and nine. Now Frank Gore gets on, and again Avery Williamson and Jordan Jenkins on that play. Third and six from the 35. Dolphins try to take the lead for the first time. Back to pass on a terrible play. Looking for Frank Gore. Darren Lee was the closest to that pass. We'll get the ball back after a field goal. 10-7 Dolphins. Throw a quick pass. And Robbie Anderson gets the reception. A gain of 8. 182 on the day so far. Is only three extra incompletions since the start of this game for Darnold. So that's at least doing a little bit better. As Crowell again can't do anything. Third and two. I formation. We'll try our Crowell again and nowhere to go with the left tackle. Rod Johnson just lets Willie Hayes in the backfield. We'll put it away again. Now hand off to Kenneth Drake who gets a man for one defender and will find a nice run. Now this time it's not Drake who's injured. It's Deion Simon on our D-line that goes down. Second and six. Hand off Drake again. But do I need to say who it was on the tackle? Number 54. 15th tackle already on the season. And we're only about a game in. Oh, we're about almost two games in now. Tannehill back all day to throw. Finds Kenny Stills. Takes a shot but hangs on for a big first down. No pressure from our defensive line at all really today unless we're blitzing. Now Drake again. But guess who he met? 54 Avery Williamson. I don't know. This guy was such a beast. I mean, I didn't really know who he was at ten in Tennessee. As Kenny Drake tries to juke away from David Bass, not gonna, or spin away, not going to work. He loses, and now he's negative two yards on the day. Third and 14 at the 29. Fake looking. Tannehill pressured. Escapes to the right. Throws deep and is dropped. Gisecki tries a one-handed grab. Not going to work. Decent coverage by Busty Scribe, but a great throw. Just a, di just a disappointment in the try to catch in that ball. Now, how about some special teams? McGuire on the return. And he's got some decent blocking and some good speed here. As uh, I would stop, try to make a move, and I would just flat out just stop and get smacked. That's what happened on that play. <laughs> Later on, next drive, back to pass, and a terrible throw looking for Anderson. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Empty backfield. Five wide. Back to pass. Pressure from Camerway. Throws, finds a man. It's Thomas in the tight end. And a big first down to the 46. Second down and 10. Back to pass. Looking. Throws. Finds Quincy Noonwell. Breaking. Powering through. Two tackles and gets into the 32 first down. 220 through the air with Sam Darnold here. Now we'll hand it off and there goes Powell. And he has met no gain on the play. There's nothing happening. I and mean, our offense is the rush attack is just atrocious. We can't get anything going here. Second and 10 at the 32. Back in the shotgun where we run most of our work as well. Trying to get something back in the game. Back to pass. Finds Crowell. Tries to juke. Dukes into the defender and gets to the 30. A third down coming up. I think that was Raekwon McMillan on the tackle. Don't mean to. I didn't know, know why I left that play in there. Now back to pass at the 30. Having struggles here on third downs. Pressured by Cameron Wake. Throws slow time. This play right here. Incomplete. I don't know. It looks like it was swatted away. But how about that slow motion? Beautiful. <laughs> now we'll tie it up here with this kick from... I don't even know who our kicker is really. I don't... Myers. That's his last name. I don't know his first name. Some random dude I think they picked up off the street. Later on, tied at 10. 
Hand off Kenyon Drake. All day to throw. Takes a little bit wide of a turn and uh, gets tackled to the 31. Good job by Jordan Jenkins, who I don't really call enough in this game. Um, I've called some bad coverage plays by him, but not than anything else. Now a deep pass looking. Marcus May drops an interception. And I've been calling his name quite more than I've called his counterpart, Jamal Adams, so far. Granted, it's only been two games. But if you're pressing more than the safety who got taken on a round earlier than you, there's something to say about that. Now, next play, and David, oh, uh, no, that's Kevin Minter, I'm sorry. The nice third down defense. We'll get the ball back at tied at 10. Thompson will hang on with this grab. First down, again, at 13. He's starting to show off as the, one of the better tight ends of the game. Next play, hand off to Powell on second and 10. And again, at 5. Now, Loga Tops, I did tell you I got. I didn't have him on the draft or death chart here this week. He will be in game three, though. So that's why you haven't seen him at all. Third and five, back to pass. Rose and a great swat down, deflection, and we'll have to punt it back to them. So a lot of punts in this game, and I'm actually liking how the game is playing so far at all. Tannehill back to pass, and a dropped interception. Pick six. Marcus May drops a second one. I'm pretty sure he'll have the team record for most dropped interceptions this season. Back to pass, Gasecki caught, Darren Lee on the tackle, gain of a few, ball to 24. Two-minute warning to go, 10-10, Dolphins, shotgun, Tannehill back to pass, all day, throws wide open, Dami Amendola caught, hit down big, why are you celebrating that hit? We gave up a big pass play. Next play, play action pass, looking, Tannehill, all day again, throws, quick pass, Gasecki, just behind Darren Lee, and a great throw and a great catch. Big first down to the 34. He's got seven reception, 150 yards, and that touchdown. The rookie tight end from Penn State. Now, couldn't have Drake with the big hole, but he just tries to be too fancy and is tackled really by that set, that uh, young, strong safety I told you we brought in the game. Now, they'll hand it back off, and he'll bounce up the middle for five more as he's got 10 carries for 10 yards. So, the rushing attack is about the same for each team so far. Now, third and three, handoff, Frank Gore. Although Gore has had a little bit more success, especially on third downs. And it's a first down. He's got 23 on the day. Next play, handoff again. Now Kenyon Drake gets up the middle. As you can see, my guy, Kevin Mentor, I was off of the target there. That was bad. Now here we go. You can see it. We're out of timeouts. They're just handing the ball off. Kenyon Drake breaks a tackle, breaks another, and will end the game tackled at the five-yard line. That is a drive killer. The two dropped interceptions by Marcus May will send us home here in today's game with our first loss on the season. And uh, it was it was bad. Bad, 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 bad. As uh, This flag would be me running into the center. Nothing happens. Uh, we lose the game anyways. Thanks for watching. Comment how you liked it, and we'll see you next game.